Okay, guys, what happened in Marbella um, last month? Yes, <laughs> what, did, right into yeah. it. what didn't happen? <laughs> what didn't happen? Yeah. <laughs> nah, it was, to be fair, it was a sick experience. I, I was talking to because uh, after each mastermind, Aaron and I always have a quick call to see like what what happened, what could have we done better, and what do we need to change like going into the like the next mastermind. And I think this was like the first time that we both agreed that we it all played out perfectly. And I think the big one for us is the the villa, right? Yeah, I think it's more so like when we, like normally after the first two we did, you know, we kind of came together, okay, maybe let's do this, let's do this. Yeah. I think with this one, the first thing we said to each other was, okay, how are we going to build another yeah, one? Ex- yeah, exactly. Let's kind of yeah. equal this. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah, everything just came together so well. I think yeah. Just the, 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 the lineup, kind of how we just put it together. But yeah, for sure, uh, the villa is, is an absolute must. Yeah, yeah, because the previous two masterminds were um, at a hotel, which also made it difficult for us to organize because every single time someone would sign up for the mastermind, we didn't mean to be like, okay, so that means one more room and then potentially try and get someone else in to be the roommate for that person. Because exactly. obviously, you know, we try and get two people in each hotel room. And this time I was like, okay, let's just find the biggest villa we can find with a pool that looks aesthetically pleasing. And then from that point, see how many pe- how many beds we have and then sort of work from, from that point back to see, okay, how many people can we now get to the mastermind and then how many guest speakers do we need in the mastermind? Um, and I think the, the biggest question for us was, um, if we do get too many people to join this mastermind, because there was quite a lot of hype, um, what do we do with the guest speakers? Do we put them in hotels or you know, exactly. do we sleep on the floor? Like what's, mm-hmm. what's the script? But yeah, like I said, this was the first time it all played out like to a T. Um, it, it, yeah, it couldn't have worked out better to be fair. I think we really, really uh, did yeah, Everything lined up perfect. One. I think, yeah. you know, it's like, guys, of course, how we, we build it up as well is that like if you come together, of course, and it is in a hotel, ultimately people are gonna go to their own rooms and exactly. do their own thing. Whereas yeah. like now, first evening, boom, throw the barbecue pit on. Yeah. And everyone just sitting there, you know, having a laugh, having a beer, having yeah, some, some meat from the actually, barbecue, yeah. and, you know, and just people then kind of they break the ice because they get to know each other. They yeah. all see, okay, hey, we're similar. And then the next day when you wake up, you can boom, you can straight away just you can go into with it. conversation left off. Yeah. yeah, because everyone already kind of set the tone. Yeah. So then... Uh, obviously, of course, I think a big move was uh, having someone like a Rob Lipset with his energy being yeah. able to come in and open up the mastermind because I think that 100%. really let people know it's okay, this is really what we're going to do these yeah. next two days. Yeah. Yes, and for everyone who was not at the mastermind, maybe never heard about it, um, what's it for? I think ultimately it's for, um, I'd say, the, just the, the entrepreneur who has an online business yeah. and who offers a service. Yeah. Like if you have a service that you're selling to online businesses, Ideally, it is someone who is in e-commerce, maybe lead gen. So you have some sort of affinity with the online world. Yeah. This mastermind is perfect for you. Yeah, for I sure. Agree. I think, yeah, because I think it starts off sort of, to be fair, it starts off as a, um, basically people that have joined the Consult X program, which is what well, started out mainly as a social media marketing agency scaling yep. program. People that were uh, in that program, they want to meet up. That's how it all started. Um, and then, one thing led to another, and then before we knew, we were basically in Mallorca. We we booked out the hotel, and we we were yeah. basically, you know, uh, like holding this 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 mastermind event. Um, but I think now it's grown into a more, like you said, yeah, it's more a digital entrepreneur that has an online service based business. Um, or to fair, well, if, even if you look at the e-commerce side of things, maybe not even service based business. I think, yeah. I mean, yeah, we have digital we have, we have brand owners, we have digital entrepreneurs there yeah. as well. I mean, yeah. we, have, we have people with Amazon FBA businesses who were this True, time. good point. So yeah. Yeah, maybe you can tell a little bit more about the speaker. We had about four or five speakers. Yeah, I think four speakers. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And yeah. what's their background? Yeah, so kind of what we always do is with, the biggest thing of course with the mastermind is that you have the possibility to sit together with, with Joss and myself for yeah. 24 seven. So what we basically ask every attendee as well is like, hey, go through the onboarding form, et cetera. And there you can very clearly let us know what is the problem you're facing. Yeah. Like, and that is on a personal level, but also on a business level. And based on that, we can see, okay, can either Josh or me help you in that aspect? If that is not the case, we'll look in our network. Yep. Who is someone who can answer this question? And that's kind of how we fill in these guest speakers. So this time around, we really wanted to open someone up who has a affinity when it comes to business and health. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A big thing, of course, is like, hey, we're always talking about scaling, scaling, scaling. But a big thing people forget is that ultimately what we're trying to achieve here is is your health. Yeah, that's the most important thing. It's nice that you make all this money, so to say, but ultimately you want to go and enjoy it as well. Like if you're, you know, let's say 100 kilos overweight, you, you can't do anything with it. Mm-hmm. So that's kind of where Rob Lipset came in. Yeah. Who, um, if you do not know him, I'd say just just Google him. He's all over the internet. 
uh, you can find anything you want about him. Basically, he built like an online, uh, yeah, online YouTube channel, fitness influencer, went on to do great things. He basically told us um, how he came up, how he built it, and then there where he kind of reflected that question is, where he is right now, being able to run several figure businesses, but also still keep his bodybuilding in check, which yeah. especially for me was pretty eye opening because that's something I struggle with. Because quite often you say, okay, I'm going to go to the gym, but then before you know it, it's 5 p.m. Another call gets booked in, and they say, okay, I'll go tomorrow. But then the next day, the same thing happens. Yeah, and I, I think agree. the biggest I've... learning lesson there is like what he basically said: uh, don't plan workouts around business. Yeah, no, yes, <laughs> you plan. So plan your business around your workouts, workouts. which obviously is it's such a simple concept. But because we're so focused on scaling the business, yeah. it's something that we just overlook. And obviously, you know, his, because that's that's like the, 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 the golden nugget, right? And obviously he tells the whole story behind it on, on, on the why this, this needs to be done, et cetera. So obviously, you know, if you have not attended the mastermind, it might just sound like, oh, okay, yeah, that sounds pretty simple. But when you're there, when he's telling his story and when he basically, gives you that conclusion it hits home and you're like okay yeah he's right like we really need to start focusing on our health and our energy levels if we want to perform well in business and uh, basically what he said as well was he said like once his workouts and his health were in check every other aspect of his business sort of fell into place as well um, so once he had the energy he was more productive once he was more productive he was able to scale more and exactly. it all sort of stemmed down to um, you know how he did his workouts and how he conducted the workouts and how he planned everything around that so uh, yeah, yeah, you can see when I moved on where I just did my own presentation, which is just mainly a uh, more technical business side, yeah. foundation wise, scaling wise, all that stuff. And then since, yeah, we moved on with uh, Mr. Cornet yeah. himself. Yes, I yes. think uh, there's no better person to kind of explain, give a quick summary of the presentation you gave. Yes, you already uh, told about uh, it, health is important, but also a work-life balance is important. And my presentation all about is the four hour work week. And mm -hmm. uh, let's face it, it's not <coughs> always a four hour work week, of course. <laughs> yeah, some hours, some days or uh, weeks are maybe 40 hours and some weeks are maybe zero hours. But the goal is to, um, that you also can stand off your business and you have some uh, some private, uh, uh, you have time for your private life, for your family. I think that's really important. That was my pr presentation all about. And for me, it's still working. And that's, uh, that's really great uh, to have an, uh, Yes, uh, more freedom because yeah, money is nice, but freedom is for me, for myself, the most important thing to have. And it was the, my complete presentation about the 45 minutes. We talked about it, how, how we did it, how we, how we use VAs and all the details we shared during the, the mas mastermind. Yeah. So if you're going to visit the mastermind, you can also expect that kind of a level of detail. Yeah. I thought yours were really good as well because obviously for me, perfect timing. Um, but I think because everyone's so focused on okay i need to do as much as possible in the day to be as productive as possible etc i think your angle was really powerful because you don't necessarily be the, the you don't have to be the one that's doing everything you need to be doing the big brain moves and then like you said having vas um that can pick up uh basically just like the the manual labor if you will uh, because ultimately, you know, we want to free up time for what's truly important. Yeah, yes, you want uh, free time, but also if you're, you're not able to, to, to work on your business and you have clients depending on you, yes, you are be a risk for your client. And, that's, yeah. and that can never be the case, because if that's the case, then yes, then maybe your client uh, uh, cannot work with you anymore, because yes, they have a big business to run, an uh, e-commerce business with maybe... 10, 20, 30 people on the payroll. And if they are relying on one people doing the main, uh, uh, bringing the main traffic in, yes, yeah. that, that's not a good fit. So you need no, to okay. have, have, have a team also for, for yourself to uh, scale the business, but also be a more professional for your uh, customer. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Essentially, I think that's... Uh, After we had two more. You had yeah, we had uh, uh, Junior came first. Oh yeah, so we had three yeah. more actually. Yeah, so exactly. Junior, um, funny thing with Junior was he, he because obviously, again, we're very much data driven and he's very uh, driven by brand and aesthetics. So I thought he actually gave us a nice balance of the other side of creating content. So not just looking at the direct response approach, but more, OK, how can content affect the longevity of the brand? Exactly. I think it's just like for us as performance marketer, I mean, the word says it itself. We're, performance. We're, we're so overlooked with performance. So yeah. the, the only real numbers we look at, you know, is like what was the revenue ultimately? Yeah. something bringing where he kind of like said hey you know take a step back if you have three pieces of content you also should look okay what what is the impact on a potential client life like what is the impact of the brand and like two three four years down the line how is this going to flow up yeah. i think it's kind of makes you think hey, yeah it's a very very interesting point as well of course because like sometimes you go for the quick hit mm -hmm. where most likely maybe taking a piece of content that right now isn't the greatest ad 
can have the potential like two, three years down the line to be your best set. Yeah. So just give it more time and like have those two approaches also coming. 100%. And then that was followed by um, Vince with the Google Ads presence. Actually, no. Yeah. Uh, was it Vince? It's Elliot. We, uh, we had Elliot first. We did the sales. Oh, yeah, Elliot yeah. did sales. Yeah. So obviously everyone that joins Consult X knows that we are very much focused on performance, back-end deals, you know, trying to generate as much revenue as possible for the clients, but also for ourselves. Um, and then we do not necessarily position ourselves as the sales guys, but obviously, you know, sales and outreach is a very, very almost vital part of you know running a service-based business. So Elliot gave us insights into how he can basically close deals, how you can turn a yes into a no, how you can create a win-win situation for both your clients as well as yourselves, and how you can maximize how much you can generate from a client whilst also remaining profitable for the client. Um, which again, you know, for 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 us, because obviously you know, we're back end guys. This is a uh, very insightful, and it just gave us a, a good insight into, um, you know, what actually goes into a sales call. Because it's not just following the script. You know, it's about building up a relationship in a relatively short period of time, building up that trust, trying to figure out, you know, what the ideal scenario is for the client, where they're currently at, and then position your service as the bridge from from A to B. Exactly, day. and even more so, of course, that it's like interactive because you got Elliot standing in front of you. Yeah. telling you these things and then you as an attendee can jump in with your process. Exactly. So like kind of on the go, you can fine tune it, which of course is, is priceless when yeah. it comes to stuff like that. 100%. And then we, fin then we finished off with Vince, right? Vince exactly. Yeah, Vince, Vince with the yeah. very intensive Google Ads, uh, which of course is an avenue that ultimately you never want to put all your eggs in one basket. So True. hey, obviously we're, we're pretty reliant on, hey, having Facebook, Instagram, yeah. or Meta, if you like to call it these mm -hmm. days. Obviously, hey, um, the ultimate goal here is to build a l business that has longevity. So you always want to explore and open up other channels. Yep. Where, for example, also an email can come in, which uh, Corne uh, touched on a little bit in his presentation as well. You know, build out these pilers, have multiple assets, and then essentially we, we ended off the day with uh, a beautiful dinner at, uh, at Oco. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> which was uh, pretty good, Lebanese food. Mm -hmm. Great, great spot, definitely, uh, definitely to be. Had a very, very nice time there. And then, yeah, we just took it home to the villa basically just chilled again all night really with uh, with everyone who was there, yeah. getting ready for the next day. Yeah, and what's good to know with these masterminds, yeah, well, I have to schedule here um, before, maybe we can put a link on the yeah, video exactly. uh, below so can people see how it works. But what, um, a lot of masterminds are quite uh, intensive. And the great thing of this mastermind, there's some time to do your work. Uh, in the morning yeah. sessions, there are no, almost no morning sessions, so you have time to, 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 to work on your company. So it's not only if you are on the fence for the next mastermind and you think, okay, I have no time because I'm so busy with mm -hmm. my company. And there's enough time to work on your company during the mastermind. Yeah, 100%, because everyone there is a business owner. And um, it's funny, because I think Louis actually said that, uh, so Louis Armstrong attended the mastermind, uh, and he put up a vlog as well. We should put the link of the vlog. Yeah, uh, that's great vlog, yeah. As well. yeah. But um, yeah, he attended the mastermind, and obviously you know, he went to bed around the same time we all did. Um, but then he got up, like, I think he went, he actually went to the to the bathroom like around like seven or 8 a.m., which um, obviously you know, for us is normal time. Like, we, we, we're, we're all up. And he opened his sliding door to his, uh, f you know, from his villa. And he he's basically sees everyone just on the laptops, just, you know, already getting worked on. He's like, oh, I only went to go to the toilet. I was actually going to go back to bed. You know, he almost felt guilty of going back to bed because everyone's so focused on the business and... I think those little moments, like at the start, like before the sessions or after the sessions, when everyone's just on their laptop working away, that's when you start asking like, like spe very specific questions to exactly. each other. And I think that's where you learn a lot from as well. Yeah. Yeah. It's just seeing other people doing what they do. Because then yeah. you can the see, routines. okay, hey, that's interesting. Maybe I could do this or maybe I could do that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah essentially just then, second day, uh, again in the morning, everyone could just do everyone his own went thing. To the gym. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone, everyone went to the gym. Like Real Pedal Club. Definitely uh, recommend it, man. Yeah, great, that was a great, great spot. Really very, like good, that very good, very good. Yeah, we all got a day pass, and um, that's actually where we, we met Rob Lipset prior to the mastermind. We actually <laughs> yeah. met him in the gym. So uh, I think he actually says, you can hear on Louis' vlog, he actually says, oh, we had the real mastermind in the gym this morning. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But yeah, just, again, everyone's in the same mindset. Everyone's uh, focused on uh, on getting the most out of life, you know, whether that is uh, health, you know, wealth, um, you know, relationships. Everyone's so focused on improving themselves. So everyone, as soon as like you know the the the, the sun rises, everyone's like up, ready to go, exactly. go to the gym, you know, get a workout in, and then we all come back, uh, you know, get some work done before you know the mastermind yeah, exactly. uh, starts again. Since yeah, then just the morning kind of went along. It was just me and Ben, right? I think for the second day, is that right? Yeah, I think essentially uh, you did your presentation just on high-level ad strategy. Yeah, what Facebook we, ads. Well, we of course always will have in every mastermind since it's. Uh, 
our bread and butter. So yeah, it will always be, be a topic. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah. And then Ben, uh, the CEO of Destructive, which is uh, one of the up and coming e-commerce brands uh, from the UK. He uh, attended the mastermind as well with the uh, basically the creative director, right? Alfie yeah, he's right hand, right hand man. Yeah, the right hand man. Um, and basically gave us insights into obviously his all come up, you know, with e-commerce, uh, dropshipping, how that basically all changed into a you know a, a real actual brand. Um, but also gave us the other side of the spectrum because we're doing outreach to these e-commerce brands. But what actually pushes the needle for them? What actually exactly. you know appeals to them? Um, and he gave us some really good insights as well into outreach because we all know there's a lot of um, well there's, there's a lot of coaches out there that will push uh, a specific type of email marketing, you know, a specific type of automation, etc. Um, and it's just quite funny to see that that does does not work, right? Because we've you know we, we can yeah, we can see his inbox, exactly. we can see what kind of emails he gets. They're all the same. It's all cookie cutter, and that's obviously you know, why we don't actually push that with uh, with our own programs. Yeah, and I think it's also interesting to see how they look at like the, the cost perspective, you know, because for us, yeah. we're, we're outside is coming in and all we see is just the front end numbers. It's like, hey, oh, if, if we hit a certain row, us, why not spend more? Why not spend more? Obviously, yeah. in their case, there's a lot of other things they're thinking about margin, overhead, uh, could containers stock here? Uh, this yeah, problem, this point. problem, you know, yeah. VAT, oh, damn. UK is out of Europe now. I need to pay this. And there are so many things you need to take uh, in consideration that yeah. we would never even think about. So it makes you definitely realize that the next time when you do have that conversation with another business owner, you can kind of more step into their shoes and say, hey, yeah. So, yeah, 100%. Yeah. I think this time around, um, the holistic approach of touching on every aspect, you know, health, fitness, uh, you, know, uh, like, you know, relationships, as Corne says, you know, the work-life balance, but also the e-commerce side of things, I think like the, the combination was perfect. Exactly, but everything came together. Like yeah. you have all aspects and then based on that, you can see, okay, this is something maybe I need more help with or this, because then yeah. by you sitting and with other people working there, you can just tap each other on the shoulder and then really get more like in depth when it comes to that. Yeah. Yeah, and then- And then we end off with uh, Nikki Beach. Nikki Beach, yeah, yeah I think that's, uh, yeah, we'll, that's we'll another, we'll, another yeah. topic. <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave that bit out. We'll yeah. leave that out. You, you only uh, get to know how that is if you join the- Yeah, the exactly. Yeah. yeah, it was lit. Yeah, that's all. That's really all. Good. That's all I'll say. Exactly. Yeah. Well, yeah. I think it's. Uh, if if you're definitely if you're interested in attending the next one, we'll leave the link to uh, the mastermind down below. You can see the after movie of the of the last one. Uh, yeah. We'll uh, we'll we'll plug Louis' vlog and just like the vlog that Josh and I made ourselves, just to see kind of behind the scenes, so you can have a, a view and overlook. Yeah. Um, yeah. If you're interested, just basically sign up on the on the email list. There yeah. will be another one coming, most likely October, but we'll confirm the date when it gets there. And yeah. yeah, we will obviously we will love we give to see them, there. Do we give them the location? Yeah. Ooh, maybe. I'd say if uh, if we get a certain amount of likes on this, we'll. Uh, no. I like that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's good to know that it's it's uh, uh, mostly a two day program. That's yeah, why. So on, exactly. on, on day one, uh, it's, it's actually it's a four day program. It's two days active. So you uh, yeah, it's correct. one travel day at, to go to the location. Yeah. Uh, uh, get the used to the location. Everything what you do, uh, what you like to do. Yeah. You have some work time, and there are two uh, more intensive days. But also what I already said, there's time to run your business. Of exactly. course, the morning important. mornings will always be free. So basically, it's yeah. you come on one day travel day. You can just chill, relax. Next day morning still relax. Then afternoon boom we go straight away in it next day morning again relax afternoon boom straight yeah. away go in it quite often on the last day in the evening we'll we'll have a nice party just to kind of end yeah g get everyone together you know just to unleash as well which is of course something uh, that's part of the mastermind as well yeah, you know it's, hey it's, it's, it's health and all that stuff but the there's a, it's a lifestyle it, yeah. of course that, that ties into it as well and then we also want to give you access to and yeah. then yeah, the the four days basically where people just they fly out again. They, yeah, uh, I think that's that's also a learning curve, right? Because Mallorca was a three day mastermind, yeah. Way and too it long. was too intense. Too, too long. Yeah, so it was too many sessions on the on the one day, and then the I think I believe that we already learned that, and we did yeah. you know the, the 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 split in the two days, um, and again yeah, my bay we just carried on with the the, the two day split. Yeah, yeah, so next time will be two days in a great villa somewhere in Europe. Exactly. Europe time that's zone. For sure. Yeah, and. Um, Yes, yeah, sign up. Perfect. And then, yeah. That's pretty much it, right? Yeah, that's, that's it. Uh, yeah. That's it. Well, that's yeah. All, yeah. I, all I can say is like 100% satisfaction guarantee. Like, no, exactly. Yeah. And we'll, we'll guarantee that always. Like if you come there and you, you legit can argue with us and sit us down and say, okay, I didn't learn anything. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a refund. 100%. Because I'm 100% certain that won't be the case. Yeah. Yeah. It's absolute game changer. 100%.